name is Connor, and I'm part of a podcast group along with Ross, uh, Kieran, and Peter. And uh, our subject for our podcast is uh, adolescents with complex learning needs. Uh, we're going to focus in on autism, uh, mainly because it's one of the most common complex learning needs out there, both in Ireland and in the world. Uh, roughly uh, one in a hundred kids in Ireland have autism, and me and the rest of my podcast group think that this is a growing issue for teachers in Ireland. We're all going to be uh, prospective teachers, so uh, we think that dealing with this issue is a big thing, along with all the other complex learning needs that are out there. Uh, I think that everyone out there knows someone with autism or another complex learning needs. There's hundreds of complex learning needs out there. Uh, as I said before, as teachers we need to combat, combat these, roughly you're going to encounter per year two to three kids with autism, along with probably about 15, 16 with other complex learning needs. This is mainly due to the amount of complex learning needs out there. There's dyslexia, dyspraxia, there's a wide range varying from uh, mental to physical to everything in between. Uh, now, I'm going to lead you on to the rest of the podcast group and they're going to talk about other elements of autism and things. Uh, later on we're going to be talking about a story about a girl called uh, Hannah and we're going to delve more deeply into what I'm after saying about uh, teachers combating these. We're going to give you two stories, a good one and a bad one, a good teacher and a bad teacher and you're going to see what problems face kids with autism and how teachers like what we hope to be uh, can combat these. Autism Spectrum Disorder, otherwise known as ASG, is a developmental disability caused by differences in the brain. Scientists do not know yet exactly what causes these differences for most people with ASG. However, some people with ASG have a known difference, such as a generic condition. There are multiple causes of ASG, although most are not yet known. There is often nothing about how people with ASG look that sets them apart from other people but they may communicate, interact, behave and learn in ways that are different from most other people. The learning, thinking and problem solving abilities of people with ASD can range from gifted to severely challenged. Some people with ASD need a lot of help in their daily lives, others need less. Here are some symptoms of autism. Hyperactivity, impulsivity, short attention span, aggression, causing self-injury and temper tantrums. In Hannah's story today, we will show a few examples of these symptoms. Today, this will give us an insight into what it is like to teach a student with autism.
All students have a right to education which is appropriate to their needs. The aims of educating pupils with special education needs are the same to which apply to all students. Education should be about enabling all children to the best of their abilities to live full and independent lives so they can grow as a person, socially interact with other people and continue to learn throughout their lives. At the end of this podcast, I hope you have all seen the impact which autism and other various complex learning needs have on both the student and teacher in a classroom situation. As prospective future teachers, we think that knowing the information included in this podcast and highlighting the problems and solutions regarding these learning needs is extremely important and is vital in our future careers. Yes, it is true to say that these complex learning needs can hamper a child's education, but only if they are left unchallenged by the educator. We all think that we have highlighted what's around these challenges to certain adolescents' learning, and hopefully we can implement these in the future, and we hope that our fellow teachers follow suit.